Hello and welcome to this video about embryonic death in racing pigeons. In this video, we will discuss the possible causes of egg death at various stages of incubation and what measures you can take to improve your chick's hatchability. Generally, the normal rate of embryonic death in incubating pigeon eggs is around 5%. If you are experiencing a death rate higher than that, it is important to investigate the possible causes of why the fertile eggs are failing to hatch. Phase 1, Death Within the First Few Days of Incubation the first few days of incubation are a critical time for embryonic development. There are three main causes of death during this phase, genetic anomalies, embryonic injuries, and improper temperatures. Genetic anomalies. Genetic anomalies incompatible with life are one cause of early embryonic death. This may result from poor breeders or malnutrition in the breeder hen in the months prior to egg production. The age of the hen may also be a factor. Embryonic injuries. During incubation, the pigeon embryo is sensitive to vibrations. Jarring of the egg and other excessive vibrations can result in injury and death to the embryo. Poor parenting, too many birds in one section or over-interference by the fancier can cause fatal injuries to the embryo. Improper temperatures. Temperatures that are too hot or too cold can cause embryonic death, as can poor ventilation. Improper nesting materials or poor nest box design can also be a factor. Phase 2, death from day 4 to day 14. During this phase of incubation, the chick is growing. Although this is the longest phase in egg incubation, it accounts for the fewest deaths. The biggest factor in death during this time is malnutrition. Nutritional problems in the hen for months up to the point of egg laying lessen the rate of survival for the developing chick. Infection can also be another cause and can be transmitted to the chick through the hen or via contamination through the eggshell. Poor eggshell development is typically the result of a calcium deficiency in the hen. Phase 3 death during the hatching phase. If death occurs during the last few days of incubation, it is usually the result of problems with hatching. Improper temperature and humidity can interfere with the hatching process and result in chick death. The chick becomes exhausted and dehydrated, which is referred to as sticky chick. To prevent this, ensure that the nesting box has a temperature range of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 70%. Also, provide the stock hens with rain or a bath or gently mist both the underside of the hen and the eggs with a spray bottle. To improve your chick's hatchability, you should provide superior stock bird nutrition in the months prior to breeding, provide a fresh nest bowl for every round of eggs, maintain ongoing nest bowl hygiene, properly control the nest bowl mites and pigeon flies, and ensure proper climatic control of the nesting box. Here are some additional facts about pigeon eggs. Pigeon eggs are typically white or off-white in color. The size of pigeon eggs varies depending on the breed of the pigeon. Generally, they are about 2 to 3 inches long and 1 to 2 inches wide. Pigeon eggs are laid every other day, with the female pigeon laying a total of 1 to 2 eggs per clutch. Pigeon eggs are incubated for approximately 17 to 19 days before hatching. Pigeon eggs are relatively small compared to other bird eggs, but they have a relatively high yolk to albumin ratio, which provides the developing chick with ample nutrition. The shell of a pigeon egg is porous allowing the embryo to exchange gases with the outside environment during incubation. Pigeon eggs are commonly used in culinary dishes in some cultures, including in Europe and Asia. Pigeon eggs have been used for scientific research, particularly in the study of avian genetics and embryonic development. Pigeon eggs can be used for art and craft projects, such as painting or carving. Pigeon eggs, like all bird eggs, are a potential source of salmonella bacteria and should be handled and cooked properly to avoid foodborne illness. Thank you for watching this video on embryonic death in racing pigeons. We hope that you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Free racing pigeon tips and lots of info. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Look at the links and email below. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. 
there are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment. free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment. free racing pigeon tips and lots of info, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, look at the links and email below.